Hi, I'm Tom Hetzel with Ride Designs, going to provide a brief instruction on how to um, adjust the FlexLock hardware, which is used for the Ride Custom Back and the Ride Java decaf back support. Specific to the Ride Custom Back, you've got a height adjustment. Typically, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what my back height needs to be and just snug that down. So I've got one axis of the six secured to begin with. That back height is typically a very easy one to dial in. So I'm doing this first, then I'm going to keep the other, so I'm just going to tighten down one. Now I've got all of the other axes that I can play with. So typically I've got somebody working from the front of the client, and I am working with that client to find that sweet spot, recognizing I can move this back infinitely on all six axes. Okay? Now let's just say I just discovered that, wow, this feels like a good sweet spot to start right here. So somebody's holding the client in from the front with the back support possibly and it's now time to tighten things down. You know there's, there's no one true way of the progression on this but I'll tell you how I like to do this. I like to tighten down the seat to back angle. Get that pivot taken care of. All right. Then what is important is that I tighten the pivot bolts before I tighten my width screws. The pivot bolts engage teeth at the end of these knuckles and the dingle arms. So when I tighten these down, I need to make sure that those teeth are engaging. It's easy to, over, to tighten it down, but overlook that the teeth may have not engaged. So I'll look at it from the side. Oh, there we go. That one didn't want to engage at first. Move it just a teeny little bit. And now I've got those teeth engaging. Go to the other side. Same procedure. Tighten that side. Pull those down snug. Now I will go to my width adjustment screws, which are in the, which you access from below. These are easy to forget. That's why we put this sticker here. Width adjustment screws, set screws. Those need to be tightened down, otherwise the back will move laterally. Okay? Alright, so take those. Now, with those just snug down, I can back away from the client and see if my orientation is where I want it to be. If it's not, I'll typically go in and loosen one axis at a time. Seat depth, back angle, rotation, whatever it may be. But once I have it all done, I only go over and adjust and make sure everything is very, very tight. So I will take my 10, 10 millimeter wrench and I'm going to tighten all four of my rotation bolts. I'm going to grunt a little bit on all these adjustments. Ah. Okay, now I'm going to start working for my final tight down, tightening. I tend to start from the center and move out. But I've already got my teeth engaged, so I'm going to tighten my center bolt. I'm going to go to my back height adjustments. There's three set screws for my back height adjustment. I'm going to tighten all those down. Then I'm going to go to my back angle screws, make sure I really lean on those because that gets, this clamp has teeth in it. It actually bites into this lateral tube, deforms it, and really locks that seat to back angle in. So you don't want to be light on those. Take your, your Allen wrench and really lean on those. Okay, I'm going to go to my width adjustment screws. Two of those. My pivot screws, really lean on those. And finally, I'm going to go out, double check, make sure that my clamps are tightened down really well, too. Once you have it all tightened down, 
double check the client's balance and alignment to make sure you didn't create an error in your adjustments. If everything's good, you've tightened everything down, the client's ready to go. Thank you for your time. Please call us at 866-781-1633 anytime you have any questions.